London. You think that looks cool? Well, it doesn't for this time of experience. Um, I love the rocks, the water, and sparkle water, I think, but I'm really excited for the first course. What is first course? Um, mozzarella. Sticks. Yeah. yeah. For the second course, I'm going to put off the grown ups menu. I'm going to get a main lobster for soup. I mean, yeah. But so. What did you try out there? Um, out there, I tried grilled octopus. And it was really, it just tastes like really good chicken. It had a lot of lemon on it. Yeah, it tastes really good. What did you think of the big um, grape leaves? It was good. It looked like sushi and it tasted really like healthy, but then it had like a meaty taste in the middle. So it was good. What's the name of the restaurant? Have you figured it out? Sure. No. I think it's the name of the chef. It's the view in the Marquis Marriott. Or Marriott it's called the Petite Shop. I knew the it. I knew it was. Wait, can you move your feet around? Yeah, I think your plate's supposed to stay there, but that's part of the magic. Oh, yeah, there's magic. How? You have to find out. And there's like this projector that's projecting the lights on. So I think it's going to do a show because there was like this TV that showed us. So I think it's going to do a show. I'm excited for that. So look at this view, right? We're building the Empire State Building right there. And it has um, a little bit of a reflection because like there's a lot of changes. The magical dining experience begins. I'd like to share with you some quite fascinating information about the star of your show, my friend, an international superstar, Le Petit Chef, the artist at Skull Mapping, has spent over five years developing and mastering this enchanting just to create each and every five seconds of the 3D animation. My friends, this show has been a dream of ours that we are so excited to bring to life right now before your eyes. So, we thank you. Let me give you a couple of tips in order to get the best experience. Please, remove your personal items from the tabletop so that the petit chef does not trip as he likes running around. Place your napkins in your lap and make sure your plate is perfectly aligned with a magical circle of light. Please, silence your phone so as not to disturb the other guests. And now, without further ado, I'm happy to introduce to you, all the way from France, measuring six centimeters, the world's smallest chef, Le Petit Chef. <laughs> it looks like barata. It looks like a dumpling. Like a dumpling. Mm -hmm. It looks like Parada. Oh, I got a tanning lion. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the gnome.
This is very fresh food. I don't want a huffy and radish. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, he's going to go fishing for them all. <laughs> no, he's gonna go over there. Oh. He's got dynamite. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but it looks like I have a nice salad now. Oh my, my plate is broken. Is your plate broken? Uh. Okay, so I guess I did the first course, and I was good, and they projected things at the table before you ate, but I got nasty mozzarella breadsticks, and they were really nice, very good. Like, but for me, when I eat breadsticks, like a lot at once, it just makes my stomach feel weird. Red gummies and orange gummies and yellow. What else did you try? Did you try some mollies? Yeah, I tried some of these pearls. Pasamic pearls? Yeah, pasamic pearls. Zerata. Mm -hmm. And you can see the grass just moving. So what did you think of mommy <laughs> cheese and the stomach pearls and apple? <laughs> the apple didn't really go well because well, it's like smooth. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really match the flavors that I expected. Oh, right. Okay. I expected it to be like salty, sour, not a little bit of sweet. So, we found it to be a little bit higher of what I like. What did you think of the roasted acorn squash? The first thing you liked. Oh, I hate it. It was like right at the beginning, but then it had this vegetable taste. Vegetable bread. I mean, and do we have to eat all of something, or what's the rule in our house? You don't have to eat all of it. You don't have to chew it. Just to try. Yeah. But also, here's the thing. As my parents let me order off the adult menu, I, I can like, um, if I eat it, then my dad will pay for it. Are you excited for the next stop? Yes. And I think it's going to be the end of this one. But this is my favorite Because there's this mall trying to and trying to eat off the little shepherd. I wonder what the next scene is. And the, wheel, the wheel 
Mero is as big as my mozzarella. And my mozzarella is the best. Daddy didn't hear you. I'm going to change your mozzarella for the next day. Why do you think that? Because I saw it on the TV. And what are you having next to you? It's a lobster. Lobster risotto. So under the seat makes sense. We'll see what it is, right? The lobster is eating my fish. <laughs> it took my fish. Now what am I supposed to eat? It's an underwater volcano. Oh, that cooks my lobster. <laughs> the underwater volcano cooks my lobster. How is the chef so strong? Magic. Oh, good. He opened up the shell for us. <laughs> Not blackberries. Oh, caviar. Caviar. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, good. Now we have some greens on our plate. I guess it's nice and presented. I'm not. Just like that, fresh from the ocean blue. Okay. Also, we have for the kids menu was like I think an egg, an egg. It's and like, butter sauce or red sauce. Yeah, and I don't like butter sauce and I like lobster. So also, they let us sub in the lobster risotto for the kids part, right? Yeah, and now I'm going back to the kids. And then they have some chicken tenders with fries. And then the last meal is a surprise for you guys. Ooh. So, what, tell me what you think about this thing. Ooh, there's a shark. So, I, how do you think they pick what's on the plates? The plate. The chef. They pick the show based on the meat? Yeah. Because the next one, I think it's going to be a farm. Because chicken for the kids. And then there's like ribs for the parents. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of beef, and beef is made out of cow. <laughs> and chicken's made out of chicken. Well, yeah. This is so cool to show. When you look in the mirror, it looks like you have a bone in your hand. The mirror. I mix my eyebrows. There's a mirror behind us. Are you making angry faces at yourself? Yeah. I can't look in the mirror. Strike a pose for the Ooh. Why are you walking under my water? He's grown some broccoli. Oh, we love broccoli. And the potatoes. And the potatoes. Oh, yeah, throw the potatoes on there. What is he going to make? 
Well, we now we said, and now we said what we're going to make this. Why? Why would you, oh, he, why would you chop down broccoli? Broccoli. Oh, I love grilled broccoli. I know. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. I, I'm just looking for mommy's broccoli. Why? Okay. Wait, you pressed the put up your fork where it's Oh. Mm -hmm. No, or not. No. Oh, no, because he's using your fork. He had an idea for him to use the fork. Good job. He's strong. He's very strong. What's the bee doing? No, babe. No, we don't eat It's bees. too hot, bee. Go away. No, he's like bee. Bee. You, can like, you know, yeah. I see that gasoline sitting there. I feel like this is going to be a problem. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hit on fire. He burnt my food. No, he burnt himself. Oh, that is more important. You're right. It's not, it's not about our hair. It's about him being hurt. Hey, hey, come out of the hall. I think it's okay. He doesn't come out. I hope we see him next course. Look how tender this short rib is. Seriously, like, no effort at all, and it pulls apart. Yum. What now? Okay, so, hey guys, it is the third meal, the last meal before dessert, and I'm really excited. So, I got chicken tenders, they're good tenders, but you're full last this time. So, yeah. And this one's a picnic one, and it's gone on fire. Oh, because she's on fire? Yeah. Do we know if he's okay? Uh -huh. Are you worried? Yeah. How did it catch on fire? Because there was a bee and he had this can of like gas or oil and then it spilled in it while it was running on fire. It spilled in what? The, the grill. Oh, grill. And then he caught on fire. He caught, so he caught on fire? Yeah, and now it. It's hatched right here, so we're very worried. Yeah. And, and it's chainsaw. Mm -hmm. What do you use the chainsaw for? I think the next one is going to be about like he's going to make some fresh ingredients for ice cream, or it's already going to be here. He's just going to decorate it. What did he use the chainsaw for? Um, to cut down a broccoli tree, because as you can see, you can move your hand and you can see yours. Yep. The stalk of broccoli. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know how the meal turned out. It, had yeah. it was good. I'll show a picture of mine. No, like the meal turned out for him. Oh, it was terrible. It's all fine. Well, hopefully you say it's good for this. But he freshly picked some, but he doesn't clean up. No, he forgets to wash them. Oh, yeah. So yeah, bye guys. You're making a snowball. We're gonna have snowmen for. It looks very vanilla. It does look very vanilla. -y. Can we put oh. a little vanilla into the snow? Where you live? Oh, he has oh he's got this stuff there. He's got raspberries. Yeah, but how can he be with that much stuff? He well, there's a scooter there. <laughs> yeah. I hope he doctors it that because I do not just want to know why you're trying to crash. He is losing. Oh. This chocolate sauce, and I see some almonds. Oh, mm -hmm. chocolate sauce in a hose. You know, I'm not going to be picky. Oh. How does he nicely present this when he's just like He's good at what he does. Look at my tattoo there's a mess. What it does. What? 
Oh, it's a snow machine. Oh, it's a wood chipper. Yeah. But instead of wood. Look, I have a raspberry. I have a raspberry chocolate. Oh, when you got chocolate on you, baby, can you get the raspberry? Look. I mean, where? How did you get chocolate on your face? <laughs> I don't have chocolate. Right, that was a very nice one. What is this? Oh, that's a mint leaf? Oh, what is that? Very fancy. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna, no. This isn't going to work out. Oh, uh, no. Oh, it's not. Oh, no. No, it's a pretty birthday. Very good. Uh oh. Oh no. 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 I hope so. Well, if you go burn in the last one, it's when he's first. Well, good. He's very good. Perfect. Oh, you like the candle first. <laughs> Just over the top, like so. Just like that, on to the rest of the dessert. Well, <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy, and please try some of the sauce on its own. Oh. Your favorite part. Oh, we will, trust us. Thank you. Okay, so um, guys, here is the dessert right here. And we're back to the hotel. Yeah, so I got this Sunday, and it was good. And our server, John, offered us some jellies from France. And it was a covered in chicken. I think they one out was a kiwi, kiwi, kiwi and orange. And he was a really good server. And yeah. So, did I get a room for yet? No, we'll do that tomorrow after we pack up. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. So, are those your new jammies you got? Yeah, go Can ahead. I see them? He just lay flat. Oh, so cute. Are they comfy? Mm -hmm. So you guys, these pajamas, this set is only $13, which is stupid cheap for a Disney pajama. I mean, it's a, for, it's a good deal for um, Target jammies, but we got these at the Disney store. Yeah. And we love Zootopia. Yeah. It's my favorite Disney movie. Because... Love bunnies and they love animals so much. Like, Judy, this is so funny part. Like, Judy, like, they go into the place where they're in, like, naked animals. They don't have any. The natural. Yeah. And then, and she's like, ew, the naked. Imagine just people being naked on the streets. Like, I'll be like, ew. That would be crazy. Yeah. So, so what did like you I, think of the whole restaurant? Um, I loved it. It was really nice. Also, I keep on looking over it because we're watching Incredibles. We love that movie. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you would like to say about the restaurant tonight? No. Were you yeah. surprised? Because we didn't tell you where we were going. Yeah. It was like, it's supposed to be spinning and it's all over the world. And mm -hmm. it usually spins but that's when it doesn't like have the projector but yeah. the projector makes it nice like he does these things and there, and he always makes something wrong he makes a mistake like he caught on fire he fell in the eyes he's a little clumsy yeah, he actually is a lot mm -hmm. so um we did learn how they made it so some people in norway they got together and they did this and they thought it was a great job. And they showed it to their friends in their backyard. And people loved it so much. They were like, we can make money off of that. And they decided to do a business. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Also, we might have a cruise to Norway soon. And that's just the hint for um, soon. But we're going to Portland. It's our next trip. So. There's two Portlands. What state are we going to? Portland, Maine. And what are you looking forward to there? 
Lobster. Mm -hmm. So bye guys.